Hey, Anita Bilma. Hey, Roberto, Mr. Fabio, how are you? Good evening. Good evening, sir. It's been a pleasure to have you here. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, but any chance, did you already uh, took your call from back to her house or no? Today is not going to be the same. What, do you, do you understand or not? The first part of the <laughs> no, I remember that yesterday you took your, your girlfriend back to her house. I remember that. I oh, know today. I, I remember. Yeah. And now today, today I, I take her uh, early because. Oh, you took her back early. Same problem. Yeah. Ah, okay, okay. That's okay. But that's nice. You you look today more, more self -comf comfortable, right? Your outfit. I got to my house more uh, a bit early, so I got oh. chance to. You gotta change to, to change your outfit. My, to change my outfit, that's right. Oh, that's cool. So you look more relaxed. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> so yesterday was really tough for you. Yeah, yes, I, I just came home and I eat and boom, the start the class starts. So <laughs> wow. Sorry. So it was a really tough day due, due to the traffic or due to the job that you gotta it's do? No, it's because just I went to the market to the shopping. To oh to, make to the, the groceries. shopping for the month. Mm -hmm. So I take my time there, see the lease and taking that and get the other. And yeah. <laughs> oh, that that's the reason. And due to the traffic, right? Because sometimes yeah, there's yeah, like a really to, traffic jam. Traffic, like, the... ooh. Today was very awful. <laughs> really? Yeah, in the in the Comalapa. Oh, okay. Ooh, so you work there? You had to work no home, no huh? today i like i went to take my sister to the job and left my girlfriend to his to her house ah, okay so in all the 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 way to my house there was a uh, very heavy traffic <laughs> Yes. wow yeah. so there was a, like a traffic jam yeah like it, it, it was because in the Comalapa uh autopiste i don't know if that freeway way. Freeway, freeway, yeah, the Comalapa freeway. Uh, there was a car, there a stop, a stop car, a stop car. So I have, I think, with some mechanic problem. Oh, maybe but it, yeah, uh, with just uh, one car at this time. Yeah, it yes. Goes collapse. <laughs> it goes. So there was a car broke down, maybe. Yeah, it was a car broke down. Got it. I'm sorry to hear that. Yes. Yeah. So you were <laughs> caught in a rush. You know what that yeah, means? Yeah, but I like today. I, we we were very early i got off yes. the so happy uh, yeah no no not heavy i get to my house very early at seven. Oh, so, so you arrived uh i at arrived seven. at my house at seven oh. normally i arrive around eight <laughs> so around five seconds before the class starts yeah okay <laughs> all right so <laughs> that's cool that's Today, cool I, thanks god that you arrive on time for I made it, it up time. Yeah, and you know what? We also have uh, Anita and Kathy and Rigo Berto and Maria and uh, Alexander. Kathy, finally! Yesterday, I couldn't have the pleasure to to see your uh, your face, but now I can. So that's cool, Kathy. Hey, I like it. I like your your headsets. You do have a headset. I have an earphones. Right. That's a kind of difficult right different right the earphones because you actually plug into your ear right yeah. and headsets because it covers yes. part of your head yeah basically that's the one that i think mr byron uses in a call center environment <laughs> so that's cool and so Thanks. tell us a little bit about your day <laughs> hi byron yeah uh anita tell us a little bit about your day how was your day today oh my day was um, a little tired. Why? Because uh, my partner, my, one of my co-workers, co-workers, yeah. uh, co uh, sick, is sick. Oh so my God. I have okay. to cover. Yes. Ooh, so I double job. I Yes, double job. Hey, so it's tired and the traffic was awful. Oh, no. I take the bus around five. You took the bus? Five, yes, take the bus. Take. You yes. took? You, I took the bus. I took the bus around five Ooh. and I arrived to my house seven. You arrived back 7 home 30. at seven. Okay. Yes. 7 30. Yes. Wow. The traffic was open. 
Yes, all uh, uh, Mr. Fabio has the same opinion. It was an awful traffic today, yes. right? Mm. Oh my god, but I'm but so glad know. that you made it. Yeah, very yes. good. <laughs> nice Thank to meet you. you. Nice to meet you too. Finally, I can see your beautiful face. <laughs> Javier, Javier was not in class yesterday, but I'm so happy that he could join today's class, which is amazing. Thank you so much, Javier. Also, we have Omar that has already logged in, uh, Rigoberto, Maria, Alexander, and Byron. Okay, guys, very good. I'm going to ask you, not all of you, but some of you, how was your day and all the stuff? Because um, even though you are in pre advance, uh, sometimes we ended up to forget when we're talking about past, right? So we got to work it out basically on the, um, on the verbs. Uh, right, regular and the regular verbs in order for us to practice and do not forget that because it's really, really important. All right. It's really, really important to continue practice. I'm going to ask you some of you, hey, how was your day? What did you do? Etc. Right. It will be like democratically. Right. So the lucky you. And sometimes, guys, I'm going to we're going to like practice, like trying to talk about in time contrast, you know, like talking about past then switch it up to the present, then switch it up to the future in order for you also to practice. Because as Mr. Byron knows, right, when you like to apply, in this case, it's a call center environment, but it applies to a different kind of jobs that you would like to work through. Um, depends on the accounts you're going to apply for, the interviews like that. For example, I remember when, uh, when I applied, I used to work in Talos, Byron, and I used to work in like trilingual account. So one of my interviews were like, uh, for example, they said, they're start talking about um, in Spanish. And they didn't say, hey, now we're going to speak in English. No, they like switch like, like this in seconds, back to English and then back to French and then back to English and then back to Spanish and then back to French. And I was like, oh my God. So when I went out for the interview, I had a headache that you cannot imagine because I, I, my brain was divided in three, Spanish, English, French, right? So it was really tough. And that is part of like the, like, uh, uh, because you know what? For example, if you're gonna work in that, in that area, you're gonna receive a call and you don't know if it's gonna be Spanish, you don't know if it's gonna be English, it's gonna be French. So you gotta be prepared. You gotta have the information in the three languages, right? Speaking and, and texting or you know, sending chats or emails or whatever. So that's when I'm going to do those kinds of activities with you. Don't worry, not in French, not in French. If you speak French, that's good. Not in but Yeah, we can practice. That's okay, no problem for me. But I'm going to do it in English. And this time, let's practice on time contrast, okay? Time contrast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Omar is like, what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, yeah, yeah, you know what is because we need to, uh, when you are studying English, I, I ask my students, okay, if you're going to speak in the past, stay in the past, don't mix the time, the times, because you're learning how to use past, you're learning how to use future, and you're learning how to use present. When you are able to use the three times, you will be able to mix them up, right? But right now, no, that's what I told my students at the beginning, right? Because Latin American people is like that. You can tell me, Salvadorians were like that, right? That we're start talking about the present. Hey, and I remember, you know, when we went to Sultan, like that, and then, and then you, you switch it and then talking about the future, and you're like, what? I, what is she talking about? Sometimes I'm like, what? But that we can do that in English, right? So let's talk about something let's think about music types music okay that topic is really help us to continue speaking the time contrasts so let me ask you guys what type of music do you used to like when you were like a little bit younger <laughs> let's say like 10 years or 15 years ago let me start with my beautiful lady miss katia do you remember the type of music that you used to like, Katia? Yes, I like rock music. You used to. I, I need past right now. You used to, that means past. I used to. Uh-huh, yeah, you can do it. 
to listen to rock music. Rock music. And what about now? Um, the same. I don't. And what about the future? Do you think it might like it might change a little bit? I didn't hear you. Oh, do you think that in the future it might change? <sighs> Take a deep breath. <laughs> No, do you think that you might change the kind of music that you like in the future? I know. I don't think so. You don't I think so? I, I, I don't romantic and pop music, but I used to listen uh, pop music. Very good. All righty. Let me switch now topic. Thank you so much, Katy. Um, Omar. Okay, I'm going to start with you, Omar. It's like, yes, why she's mentioned my name. <laughs> okay, Omar, uh, let's talk about communication. What type of communication do we used to have in the past? Uh, what kind of uh, communication? communication? Yeah. Used to talk in, in the past? Uh huh, exactly. Mm. Do you remember when you spoke with your with your father, with your mama, with your grandma? Yeah. No. Sometimes I didn't know. Sometimes I I uh, spoke I spoke I spoke with my my mother and my father. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I uh, um um went go to the uh, the diner. Or the lunch with my family to meet, uh, or, or with my friends, or or my uh, uh, classmates in the yeah. in, in the school. I remember that is, uh, I tried to socialize uh, with them in, in the past. I remember so so so. <laughs> ah, okay, very good. That's cool. Thank you, Omar. What about guys? When you remember about the 20s or the 30s or the 40s yeah maybe oh yeah i remember do they used to have uh, a bluetooth or uh internet 20 no, 30 or 40 years ago no. all right what type of communication did they used to use no. Uh -huh, Deeper. Maria. Uh -huh. I remember that deep. yeah. Deeper? That was like a, like a 15 years ago, right? 20, 10 to 15 yeah. years, yeah. What about what now? About what about now? Com computer, laptops, and tablets. Uh-huh. Smart, 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 smart watch. Exactly, and smartphones. So, <laughs> Mr. Armour, what type of communication do you think it might be in the future? Oh, Marie, I don't know who wants to participate. That's cool. I think the future uh, we can uh, we can will be no, or is going to use, uh -huh. we will uh -huh, we were going to use more the uh, uh, all, 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 all device in a smart a smart mm -hmm. device. Mm, that might be yeah. That's a good point. What about guys uh, entertainment? What was the type of entertainment that the people used to have on the, on the past? Anybody? Thank you so I much, Maria. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Go ahead, Robert. It depends, I think. Uh, uh -huh. Mostly they used to go to opera or, or theater. In the bus. Buses? Like, uh, I don't know. I, no, I, I mean, uh, I'm not talking about a <laughs> night, a 15th or century. No. Or, or <laughs> more and more in the past. No, let's say it about 30 years ago uh, 30 or years 40. Ago. Don't go so they, far. For entertainment. Mm -hmm. They even go to the cinema. They were already yes. cinemas at that time, I think, 30 mm -hmm. years ago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But what about here in El Salvador? We, we, we used to uh, rent rent video, rent movies. Uh -huh. Blockbuster. Oh, yes, Blockbuster yes, with the remember. VHS, right? VHS. Yes, yes VHS. VHS. Now we don't have VHS anymore. No. Yeah. No. Hey, what about our parents? What type of entertainment do they used to have? We had to go a little bit farther, right? Like 50 or 60 years ago, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. 
I know my father like uh, watch movies. Yeah, uh, he 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 told us mm -hmm. that he went to the first uh, when they they show the, the first time the Star Wars movie ah, in Guatemala. Ooh, yeah, yeah, the, he was in the premiere. Art to reach on the trivia. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, he was in the premiere. <laughs> he escaped. He escaped from from my grandmother and, and really and no. Yeah, they were in a in a in a trip <laughs> to Guatemala, and they he escaped. Ooh. They were very 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 worried about him, but he 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 goes to the, to the movie. He went to see that movie because he was he went he to the movie theater. To lose it. <laughs> oh my god for the premiere of the star wars From but the, mm, for the premiere but sometimes also guys when there's a people that maybe they have like accommodation they can do that or but there were not people that couldn't have the opportunity to have a television right like in black and white color or mm -hmm. what about the radio they were that, like so poppers in the radio right so yes, yeah remember yes. that yeah. Uh, do you remember anything about that, Alexander or Maria? About the surprise on the radio or something like that? Yeah. Have yes. you heard about it? Yeah. Tell us, Maria. Was it interesting? Huh? <laughs> yes, I, I remember that uh, my uh, grandfather, uh -huh. uh, my grandmother, uh, uh, listened to the surprise on the radio and. Circuito Jesser. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Yeah. There were so few yes. radios channels. Yeah. What about now, guys? What kind of entertainment do we have now? Anybody volunteer? I know. I know everybody wants to participate, but hold your horses. Hold your horses. I know that for sure. <laughs> okay, Alexander, Hi. I love your smile. Thank <laughs> you so much. <laughs> but the track lead was you, okay? Go ahead, girl. <laughs> Sorry, sir. No, no really. Uh, um, good evening. Good evening, guys. sir. Um, uh, really, is like, <laughs> I no, I remember long time ago. I remember when I uh, really I um, listened uh, radio. I remember the record. Remember what they push the record to use the cassette? Oh yeah, <laughs> I remember that. Okay, yeah. but, but okay, I need I need a cl uh, clear something. Uh, you uh, need to clear something, okay? Go ahead. Yes, uh, I am young, okay? Young, no oh, older. Okay. No, <laughs> uh, oh, no, 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 we are not saying the opposite. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> but, but, but I remember the uh, I, I don't know how do you say that, the caseteras or recorder, tape, uh, tape recorders. I uh had -huh, tape recorder, uh -huh. uh, the Disman, the uh, uh, radio, the I don't know, the radiolas, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. But I remember okay. uh -huh, uh, before uh, in the morning when I uh, went to the job, I remember I listened to the radio in my car uh, oh. because I, uh, in this time I went to the job uh, early. Very oh, early. okay. Yes, I need to have music to uh, keep him woke up. So you used to have your favorite radio station, I can think of. Uh, um, I remember a um, long time ago, it was a um, long time ago. Me, he's, me, he said he's me, younger, right? <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, um, uh, me preferida, I don't remember. Oh. It, today is, is yes. today is box 94.5, but before it was. Uh, Femenina, no. No, no, no. It, it was my preferida. Yes. Ana Vilma, Ana ABC? Vilma, please. ABC? ABC? Ah? Lasser. ABC? No no no, no. 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 Right now it's Vox 9.5. Yes. But I don't tell you. No. Um, no. No. Lasser. No. No. Lasser. No. 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 But it's a, it's, a, it's a romantic music. I, I remember. Romantic. Romantic. Uh, no. a Spanish or in English? No, uh -huh. in Spanish. Fuego. In Spanish. Fuego. No, no. Fuego is, is uh, I don't know, 10 mm. or 5 years ago, but it's still. It's like a. I remember. It's like, it's like a. Uh, me, me neither. No. <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> maybe I maybe later I, I remember the name. Yeah, maybe I later on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm younger than Alex, so I. Uh, I Teacher. <laughs> Yay. <Okay>. Teacher. <laughs> yes, Mr. Student. Teacher. Yes, Maria. Uh, I, I remember that Rocola. 
Ah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the one that you, that you that you to select yeah. what type of music, yeah. right? Okay. I, yeah. I don't remember Rocola. Just say, just say, use uh, the name. Uh, but I don't remember. No, I remember the whole play. play. Yeah, I remember the whole play, right? <laughs> <laughs> what about now, guys? What about now? What type of entertainment do we have now? Ooh. Video games. Uh huh. What else? Thailand, um, Thailand series. Excuse me, my friend. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> Korean series. I'm into it. Okay. Right now, yes. before the class, after, really? class, after uh -huh. class, I had to watch some, maybe one or two uh, episodes. And it's one for Thai and one for Korean series. Naruko Nakuro, right? What, what no. is the name? Oh. It's, it's like, it's like. Eh, thank you. No, it's like no. <laughs> it's like no. So it's not anime. No. No, it's not anime. Well, no, because no, I remember anime. that in my case, I used to like Pikachu. I can see <laughs> some of the anime, but uh, I'm not really into anime, but I like uh, it. <laughs> uh -huh. And I remember Dragon Ball, but that's it. Oh, <laughs> but that, so so I'm, I'm a little old fashioned regarding that, right? Do you remember Candy? Yeah, yeah, that was a that I was a cartoon soap opera. Yeah. So what do you think, guys? Yeah, right. I love. So yes. now we have a lot of type of communications, right? Or entertainment, yes. right? Yeah. Yeah. What about in the future? What do you think the communication well on the entertainment Ooh. might be? Maybe we can telepathic play with the game. Oh. I don't know. Yeah. I agree. Yeah, <laughs> like the Jacksons, right? Uh -huh. Like the Jacksons. Maybe we'll have a Robotina, right? Yeah, that could be. Oh, we what, will what use holograms. Think, what do you think about the hologram? Yes, hologram. Holograms. Holograms. Yes. Yes. Jamie, the holograms. Transfer yeah, myself, Simergy. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember that. So, hey, guys, and about communication, did you remember when we used to, like, send, like, a uh, fax or go to Antel, Ooh. right? Yes. To yeah. try to communicate, yes. telegram. Oh, telegram. Yes. Never learned to use. Yes. Now, just with one click, and they will be yeah. able to communicate all yeah. around the world, right? But do you yes. think, guys, when we were, when we were, for example, in, in the Morse, Morse club, in the communication environment, yes. when we were like using telephones and telecom and faxes and all the stuff, do you think that in, on that time we thought that we will have a lot of development in what? that area? No, really we couldn't not. imagine, right? Imagine, mm -hmm. guys, you're in a different uh, type of uh, the country, a different part of our country. Some of you are in Lourdes, some of you are in Santa Ana, San Salvador, whatever. And we are using the technology, right? Via yeah. Zoom. So that's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> that was incredible. Nobody thought that what could be possible until now, right? The resolution of the camera as well has changed because when we use yes. Messenger at oh. home, Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It was difficult with the camera. And, yes. and also, if we have a completely disaster in our room, <laughs> we, we can we also change know. the background, right? Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm not talking about somebody in specific, okay? Yeah. Um, no. No, no, yes. No. I, don't I, don't, I don't understand what happened with that Brian. No, Byron. Byron Lozano. Maybe Byron is. In, in, I don't know. If he's back, no. If he's back, it's a, a picture. But no, I don't know what happened. No. I think he's I physically think. in the North Pole. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, it could be. We're in another country. <laughs> yeah, so you see, guys, how practical it is when you are talking about past present and future, we can talk with the same topic, we can switch time contrast, but you need to like, try to get used to it and how to use the past. Remember, there's a phrase that says used to, that means okay. something that uh, something that happened in the past, but it would never be arriving in the present. Now you switch to the present, you're talking about B and all the stuff, right? And uh, third person, etc. And in the future, you can use will, you can use going to, you can use will when you're not so sure about that something will happen and going to and when you are a hundred percent sure that something's okay. going to happen or if you're talking about the weather the weather mm -hmm. condition like mm -hmm. for example if you're seeing that the, the sky is cloudy and dark yeah. and everything you said i think it's gonna rain right mm -hmm. you don't said it will rain no when you're talking about weather always need to use going to okay no will never all right ah, okay. so I, okay. I think it's gonna rain yes so so you see 
So it's really good. Guys, we're going to, later on, we're going to uh, continue doing those kind of exercises because it's really, really important, okay? That you practice. And also that you, and that will help your, your mind to divide it into three. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay? Because it's, it's, it's really important. Not only if you're going to use it for um, daily basis, but also, guys, you're going to use it in your work environment. If, for example, you're going to talk about in front of the CEO, uh, or if you're talking, or, or maybe in the in your area, right, in your area, and you're going to explain about how the um, the objects of the company has of the mission of the company have been accomplished when the company started now where you are and what is the product that you have in the future for the company for example you would need to use those kind of time contrasts so that's why it's really important because it will help you not only in your daily basis but also it will help you in any type of environment or any kind of topic that you are so that's why i'm doing those kind of exercises okay Yes, you have to do that next week. <laughs> uh, you see, right, Virus? I so, have yeah. to present the numbers of my team the next week with the CEO of the account. I, I, I'm sorry. Uh, okay. The, you a, went a, a similar with me. A similar with the, the real life yes. is bare conscience. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. All right. So you see how useful it is? Mm-hmm. Because it's not the same that you think in English that you think in Spanish. It's totally the difference. Okay. So that's why you told me, teacher, I want to develop the fluency. I want to be a fluency. La, la, la. Oh, okay, that's what I'm here for. And remember that's the phrase? That is the topic of this unit. That's what friends are for. Remember that time? No? no. <laughs> that's what friends are for? No? Remember Stevie Wonder? No? Whitney Houston, there were like a four people there thinking that song. That's what friends are for. That's the song. I'm going to send it to you for you to practice. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know what? Maybe we can sing a song by the end of this model. What do you, what do you think about that? Yes. Yeah, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and you're like, <clears throat> I have a tenor voice. <clears throat> I just maybe, sing a song of the shower teacher. No, okay. Yes, but maybe the Beatles. Yes, he said yes, right? Maybe the Beatles. The Beatles. The, uh, yes. Oh, yesterday could be one of them. That's really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, the Beatles, they have a really nice um, English. I like yes. it. And they're really understandable. So I like that. Mm -hmm. I like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, Michelle Mabel, what do you think about that? Mm -hmm. Michelle Mabel, have you heard that? No? Yes. No. Yeah? Huh? Yes, what Anita? Kind of music? Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. Michelle Mabel, I, there's a phrase in French there. I like it. I like it, but there's only one race. Yes. All righty. So without uh, without future uh, hesitation, guys, do me a favor. What was yesterday's topic? Uh, Everybody's uh, like, eh, relative eh, Exactly, relative pronouns. Yeah. What is a relative clause or what is a relative pronoun? Any idea? I know, I, I know, I know everybody wants to participate. I understand that. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so excited. I have a really, really, um, what? Really hyper students here. Okay, that's awesome. <laughs> that's cool, yeah. All righty, one of the time, please. Don't complicate your life, Maria. She's like, damn, why me? Okay, go ahead. Okay. Uh-huh. What is a relative clause? What is a relative pronoun? Relative pronouns uh, with uh, so about um, who that? Uh huh. That is what exactly. We, mm -hmm. um, I don't know. June. Yes, you know. Unite. Okay. That the, the sentence. Exactly. Very good. Exactly. We saw that relative pronouns. We have a lot. Okay. We have a lot. Yes. But we focus on two. The one that Maria said. Who. And that, very good. A relative clause is something that we use to join, remember? To join two ideas into one. Remember, one yes. is a independent one and the other one is dependent. Remember that, yeah? Yes. Okay, cool. So, but also we saw, um, in this case, we focus on relative pronoun as a subject and relative pronoun as an object, object. right? Yes. May I, okay, remember. 
it's, it's not that I want to show you my nails. No, no. It's their confidence, okay? I okay. you want to show the nails. <laughs> yes. Uh, no, it is because... Let's pretend that this is the subject it's and let's pretend that this is the object. Oh, <laughs> oh, thank you. Okay. <laughs> so tell me, guys, if we're talking about pronoun as a subject, in this case, in this one, uh, does, a sub, does the prelative pronoun makes the action or receives the action as a subject? Make the action. Make the Very action. good, Anita. What about as an object? Very good, Amr. Yes, very good. Receives the action. All right. Do me a favor. Uh, can I have an example? Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> uh -huh. like, uh, no, I'm going to be nice. I'm going to give you one example. Okay. 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 Um, let me write it on the chat really quickly. I will give you an example. And the first example is with as, as a subject, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna write it down. So let me just a couple of minutes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. I almost finished. Teacher, don't take the whole class. So yes, of course. I'm not gonna take the whole class, so don't worry about no, it. Okay. No. I just, yeah, of course. I'm just we trying are in to. The house. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're good on that. Okay. I'm sending it to you right now. I like guys. Of course, you like girls, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> they aren't too serious. <laughs> okay. You know what? Okay. This is two sentences. Okay. Because, of course, they are separated by, by, by dots, right? By periods. Okay. So how can I transform this sentence into relative pronoun as a subject? Uh, I like guys that they are too serious. Uh, kind of. Remember, like guys who, very good. Very good. Too very good. Very good. I like guys who, who aren't too, too serious. serious. Excellent I job. Why? Remember that who? We need to identify who's who's doing the action. Who? Me. Yes. Of course, I, right? I. All righty. And I like I like these kind of people, this kind of guys, right? So in this case, when we like to join the ideas, we're going to use who. In this case, who substitutes they, remember? Mm -hmm. When you use subject, uh, well, relative pronoun as a subject, you got to have only one subject when you join them and you use the who. That's the mm -hmm. difference. That is one of the difference. I like guys who are into serious. Yes. Well, my husband is serious. <laughs> <laughs> but, no, but, but, but he's not too serious. Okay. okay. All right. Now, very good. But let me ask you something. Can I erase, can I, can I omit the relative pronoun who in this sentence? Can I or can I? Oh, I can't. Can I? Can I say no. I like guys aren't too serious? Is that right? No. no. That makes sense? No. No, no. right? No. Mm -hmm. So when you are using a relative pronoun as a subject, you must have the relative pronoun who or that. Because if okay. you omit it, doesn't make sense at all. All right? Uh, you say that you're missing something, something to like for the expression of the idea, a, well, get a meaning, right? Or let us oh, give us something, give us an idea. Okay, well now let me give you an example. And I want you to, uh, oh, thank you so much. The Beatles. Ah, thank you, Omar. <laughs> I'm receiving <laughs> like a few uh, suggestions about uh, <laughs> songs. So that's awesome. Thank you so much. All righty. Going back to business. <laughs> All righty. <laughs> let me check it out really quickly. Uh, what about a relative <laughs> pronoun as object? Okay. Uh huh. I prefer someone. Okay, let me check this one. Oh my God, I heard that if I'm if I'm in the airport. Mm -hmm. Right? Somebody's in the airport? Yes, I am. 
No, 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 no. Ah, Alex, I was like, ding, 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 ding. Jack International and also the decision is apply. Come on. Oh, my God. I had to let you know, I'm the, I'm the one who does the voice. I'm just kidding. No, 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 no. Okay, I prefer someone. Okay. Okay. I prefer someone. I can't talk to him easily. All right. Okay, I prefer someone that I can talk to him easily. easily. If you can figure it out, guys, because I have two sentences, right? Mm -hmm. But let me ask you something. The, the subject in this case, the person who's does in the action, it is the same? Yes or no? I have, mm -hmm. I yes. prefer someone, I can talk to him easily, right? Yes. So, mm -hmm. so you see one of the difference as a subject? It was I and then was they, right? So we gotta use the who to make that connection of the two ideas. But in the of, as an object, I have the same the same subject of the same person who does in the action. But um, how can you transform this sentence into one using relative pronoun as an object? Using that. Uh -huh. no, but, no, but in the in the case because it's someone is about uh, it's about person. I, I prefer someone who I can talk to him easily. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh -huh. So how how you're going to transform you this sentence I. into one? Uh-huh. Yes, very good. Who can give it to me, the sentence? I prefer someone. I prefer someone. Who you, I can talk to him. You can, you can use who or you can use that. I had to let you know that. that. Either or, oh, yes, I but most of that. most of the time you use who for people and mm -hmm. that for that for items, things. right? Oh, for things, yes. That I can talk to him, right? To him easily. Alrighty. Yes, very good. So you you have to say uh, do, double check something, guys, because I have I I. Oh my God, I made a mistake on something. I don't know why this keyboard i have I, to change it i had to change it right because sometimes <laughs> they switch it into spanish sometimes they oh, switch yeah. it into english and sometimes <laughs> they switch it to um, french so you cannot imagine how hard it's for me sometimes <laughs> mm. yeah i don't know why this keyboard is a little bit crazy sometimes well like the teacher so i think so. really really the keyboard yes it, <laughs> yes it's the keyboard <laughs> He's not a teacher, Mr. Okay. Alex. <laughs> okay, so I prefer someone in parentheses, right? Who or that I can talk to him easily. All right. So let me ask you, you can you notice, guys, that in the sentence that we use our relative pronoun, I I it is double it. I I. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But in the subject, no, I only have one, remember? But in the object, I have two. I prefer someone who I prefer, a guy who I can talk easily. So who received the action? That guy or mm -hmm. the girl, whatever, right? Mm -hmm. But there is another difference. For example, do me a favor, Alexander. Read the sentence like mm -hmm. the way it is. Read it. Okay. I, pref I prefer someone who I can talk to him easily. Very good. You use the relative pronoun as an object. Fantastic. Now read the sentence again, but do not mention who or that, please. Good. If just I prefer someone, someone who can talk. No, to no, no. Don't, don't use who or that. Don't use that. Uh, okay, okay. I prefer someone I can talk to him easily. Very good. May I ask you? If I use the relative pronoun, or if I don't use it, the meaning of the sentence changes or no? Uh, no. 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 No, because, no, no, because no. we use someone. Exactly. So in this case, when you're using a relative pronoun as an object, you have the option to either use the relative pronoun or not. Or not. That's what is in parentheses. And it won't change the meaning of the sentence. Okay. Okay. Is that cool? Yes. That's why I'm doing this kind of recap. I always want to do the recap, okay? Just for mm -hmm. you to have any, if you have any doubts, if you have any questions like that. Okay, cool. So, B. 
because we already done like a recap about that. Let's practice some exercises. You know, you like it? Hey, yes. teacher, I knew it by your <laughs> heart. Yeah, that's why. Okay, so that is, uh, no, I sent it to you already. I remember that I sent you an, a writing exercise. Have you done that? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, oh. Yes, mm. one more. Exactly, Anita, you better be. So <laughs> please, guys, uh, do me a favor. If you have no joined the WhatsApp group, please join it because uh, any uh, homeworks or any extra information that I consider that it might help you to understand any class topics, I'm going to send it through the WhatsApp. So I beg you to please be everybody be there. Uh, uh, when they send you like that email with the model information, you should have a link to the WhatsApp. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All that you got to go is and click on that. They will ask you, you want to join this group? And you say yes, and then book your in. Yeah. Okay, cool. So that's okay. that's cool. Okay, guys. Now we're going to talk about another classes. I teach. Oh yes, I love it because in English we have a lot of classes that you cannot imagine. Time classes, classes with four. Oh my God. Ah, uh, oof. Classes with when, classes with it, etc. And today we're going to talk about that. But let me ask you something. I'm going to show you something. And this is a really interesting topic. Because for some of you that are very married, okay, mm -hmm. this had happened like <laughs> some <laughs> times ago. But for, for most of you that are still single or in the future, maybe Ro Roberto have, a, I think Roberto, when he has chosen, his actual girlfriend, there is some information that he must, he will be like evaluating before saying, oh, that's the girl that I want. Mama, that's the girl that I want, All right? Okay, so, well, that's the boy that I want, right? Kathy, of course, in the future. <laughs> okay, so without further hesitation, I'm going to show you something, guys, and uh, I want your opinion about that. Um, I'm going to show you something related to love and marriage in North America. Uh, for example, there are some qualities uh, that, the, that the woman look for in a partner, right? And there are some qualities that a man look for in a partner. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. So let's double check the adjectives. We're going to learn maybe some new vocabulary. We're going to uh, improve our pronunciation. But at the same time, we're going to discuss. Maybe we have uh, some similarities here in El Salvador. I don't know. So let me switch right now and let me uh, share my computer with you. All righty. Tell me if you're able to see my screen. Are you able to do it? Yep. Yes. Cool. Yes. Okay. Yes. <clears throat> that is for you, uh, 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 Fabio. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> All righty. So love and marriage in North America. Who can help me read what women look for in a partner? Ah, let me double check. I know that everybody wants to participate. Marcelita, do me a favor, please. Read the girl's part. What a woman look for a, in, a par in a partner. Again, again. One. What a woman look for in a partner. Do it again. What a woman look for in a partner. Very good. Go ahead. Love, understanding, conversation, time together, a positive attitude, a good listener, affection, responsibility at home, free time, and good health. Very good. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All righty. Mr. Byron. Yeah, yeah. What about what men look for in a partner? Can you please read it for me? Of course. What men look for in a partner. Again, what a man look for in a partner. Go ahead. Go what ahead. a man look for in a partner. Excellent. Go ahead. Believe in his capabilities. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Believe in his cap capabilities. Understanding. Compliments. Acceptance. Direct conversation. Direct. Affection, di direct conversation. Direct, direct conversation. Affection, respect, free time, trust, uh -huh. companionship. 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 Very good. You see, you're practicing your pronunciation. Uh, let me ask yeah. you, uh, are all these adjectives are um, 
new for you or no? Mm. Nah. Yes, as a no, no, personal no, yes, so life funny. or in general? <laughs> no, I mean the, the meaning of, of oh, adjectives. No. 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 <laughs> You're okay with that. Okay, cool. So now, guys, now that we have uh, read the, um, what the men look for in a girl and vice versa, what qualities, according to what you read, do both men and women look for in a partner, according to what you have read? Ha, ah, this is a memory one. This is a memory activity. Hi, teacher. Yes, I'm bad. Do you remember what Marcelita read and what Mr. Byron read? Mm -hmm. Do you think that they, uh, there are some quality that they are in common or no? Ooh. Ooh, right. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to be a nice teacher. I'm going to show you <laughs> the image one minute, okay? No more than one minute. I'm going to count that. Okay. And then you got to memorize it, and then we're going to come back and I'm going to formulate the same question. Okay. All right. All righty, there you go. You have it there. Okay. Got it. Are you sure? Yes. Is everybody got it or only Mr. Alex? All right, we got it. You got it. Okay. So now answer the question, please. What was the question? Uh huh. Uh huh. What was Is the question? Understanding and for time. Uh huh. That First is one thing. of them. What is the other one? Love. Love. Oh, are you sure? Are you sure? Oh, yes. Affection, right? Affection. Yes. Uh, affection. Uh -huh. What else? Free time. Uh huh. Free time. Yes. Free time. Yes. What else? Good health. In, in both? No. Um, no. 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 Just in men. No, no, no. I'm, I'm asking. In, in women. Both. Women. In both. Free time. Oh. Ah, I'm gonna help you. Un, un, under conditional understanding. 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 Oh. What the first? No, what the second one? <laughs> no, the yeah. first. The but Alexander said. Ah, excuse me. Yes, <laughs> I, I, I'm deaf. I'm deaf. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah. All right, very good. Now, guys, let me ask you something. Uh, in your opinion, which of the things above, the ones that you, we mentioned and your classmates read, are important to look for in a partner? Thank you so much for expressing your point of view, Fabio. Now, understanding is, is important. No, yes, but I want Fabio because Fabio is, is not married, but he's already have a girlfriend, so I want his opinion about that. Sorry. Uh -huh. Okay. Every, every, everybody will will see what you said. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Go ahead, Fabio. I think uh, the having free time together. Uh huh. That's one of the important. And things. showing else? affect to each other. Mm hmm. Yeah, I have seen that with with my girlfriend because we <laughs> have <laughs> sometimes yes. when we spend together and oh. yeah, she. She seems very happy. I feel very comfortable and happy too where we spend time. We show some affection. So, yeah. <laughs> sure. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> very good. Thank wow. you so much. Oh, and Maria said, oh. Re remember, Roberto is writer. Uh -huh. Ah, yes. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> okay. So what about you guys? What do you think? What is the most important? Mm-hmm. Come on, please. Aha, <laughs> uh, Maria. Please, Maria. Okay. Love. Hi. Um, hey, good attitude. Uh, good communication. Very good, Omar. Yes. Good communication. Yes. What else? Trust. Yeah, trust. Very good, Kati. What else? Aha. Uh -huh. I was really happy because everybody's getting excited. And I was like, yeah, yeah, continue. And then everybody's silent. Is, is the correct is the correct that share is about that share with with all the family and the together yeah exactly spend time with each other's family relatives mm -hmm. respect. Yeah. respect very good respect. that's yes. one clue that is one of the clues yes exactly what else 
Uh -huh. hey, let me ask you, are there other important qualities missing in the list? Maybe. Missing. Maybe? Like what, Anita? Loyalty. Loyalty. Very good. Fidelity. Support. Very good. Yes. What else? Religion. Commitment. What, what Religion. else? Be religious Religion. belief, very good, Marcelita. Excellent job, excellent point of view. Yeah, you see, oh my God, you are so experts. <laughs> yeah, what about the one that already been married, Mr. Alexander? What is your opinion about that? Or Rigoberto, uh, I don't know. I want to listen to him. Or Milkar, Gabby, she has a boyfriend. What happened next? Eh? <laughs> uh -huh, Gabby. <laughs> um, um, oh yes everything uh, that you said is fine yes yeah <laughs> uh that she he dedicates to time uh-huh spend time together yeah what else but not in the same things i mean not not like i'm gonna pick you and that's all something mm. like dating and, and spend time with you in the way you want. Uh, also in the way both want, but but it's important that he knows what you like to do. Uh-huh, because basically, guys, thank you, Gabby. Sometimes you have things in common, right? But there are some things that you are so different, right? Uh, so also you have, they have to respect and give you like your space, right? Yes yes, yes, yes. That's really, really important. Sometimes, or maybe you said, hey, I want to go on vacation this place. Okay, mm -hmm. this year, we're going to do what you want. But not all the year you're going to do what you want. Now it's my time. I want to spend time with my family. Okay, let's go. All right. It's like half and a half, right? 50-50. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Very good. Oh, my God. Today, <laughs> we, were, we were, how we can uh, titulate it or title this class <laughs> are you in love oh, just uh, yeah very yeah, good yeah, but... <laughs> yeah okay very good guys thank you so much so uh, why i'm asking you that teacher why do you why you're asking so many questions what is this related to uh, you will see you will see <laughs> and i'm, I'm not gonna uh, sing a song like madonna right you only see what your eyes want to see no i'm just mm. <clears throat> uh, like a virgin no no <laughs> that no, is frozen, frozen. <laughs> yeah of course frozen. that is frozen man <laughs> that is for the new albums I, I, i'm I not like 70 <laughs> come on <laughs> all right so i'm gonna play it on audio guys and basically, I want you guys to pay attention about a, a teenager conversation. They're talking about uh, qualities of, of a girl and a boy that they like, and they're going to choose to go to a specific event. So we're going to talk about that. And first of all, I want you guys to listen carefully. We're going to uh, start practicing the listening skills. But right now, what I only need that you answer don't focus on the specific details of the conversation. No yet. I just want that you tell me what is the conversation about. That's what I want. That's it. Okay? No, nothing else. Then I'm going to ask you another questions. All righty. So, very good. Let me double check. Da -da 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 -da. There you go. Listen and practice. Can you listen? Yeah? Is it clear? Yes. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yes. Do you have a date for your friend's wedding yet? Actually, no, I don't. Do you know anyone I could go with? Hmm. What kind of guys do you like? Oh, I like guys who aren't too serious and who have a good sense of humor. You know, someone like you. Okay. Uh, what else? Well, I'd prefer someone I have something in common with, who I can talk to easily. I think I know just the guy for you. Bob Branson. Do you know him? No, I don't think so. Okay, I'll ask him to meet us for coffee, and you can tell me what you think. Okay, what is the conversation about? She doesn't have a partner for a wedding. 
For a wedding. For a wedding of who? A friend of them. Uh huh. Very good. Exactly. So, what, what he did suggest. Uh huh. Uh, a, a name, a, 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 I don't remember the name, that, uh, but the specific name that maybe uh, uh, his friend, because okay. the idea is. is mm -hmm. Okay, very good. So it is, the, she doesn't have a, a partner who go to a friend's wedding, right? That's what it's uh, all about. So now I want you guys to pay attention of that question that he formulates to her, right? And how she answers oh, to the question and also what are the suggestions that he's given to her, okay? So let me, let me play it one more time. I have to let you know something because you are pretty advanced okay. and I'm really good teacher. <laughs> and yes, this model, I will play this week. That means until today, I'm gonna play it only three times the listening. But um, next week, it will be only two times. And for the last two weeks, it's gonna be only one time. Okay. So it's gonna be tough. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, so pay attention, okay, relax. One of the keys that I can give it to you guys is that close your eyes. And then when you close your eyes, you gotta try to focus on what you're listening. That is one key. It could be old fashioned, but it works to be honest with you. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. it works, definitely. Okay. Yes. Okay. All righty, okay. so let's do it again. Let me check it out. Okay, I'm going to play it one more time. There you go. So we're here. Yes. I like guys who. Part A. Mm -hmm. Listen and practice. Rick Martinez. Do you have a date for your friend's wedding yet? Actually, no, I don't. Do you know anyone I could go with? Hmm. What kind of guys do you like? Oh, I like guys who aren't too serious and who have a good sense of humor. You know, someone like you. <laughs> okay. Uh, what else? Well, I'd prefer someone I have something in common with, who I can talk to easily. I think I know just the guy for you. Bob Branson. Do you know him? No, I don't think so. Okay. I'll ask him to meet us for coffee, and you can tell me what you think. Okay. So may I ask you, what kind of guys does she like? Serious. Guys who has a good who sense, sense of humor. Humor. Who have a good sense of humor. What else? And are not too serious. And aren't too serious. <laughs> exactly. Mm -hmm. Do you see, guys, how you use who? A relative class, a relative pronoun in this conversation, right? Yeah. For example, you can say, uh, what kind of, uh, hey, you, I can ask you, yeah, what kind of girl do you like? What kind of boy do you like, right? Yeah. Or also you can say, what kind of co-worker do you prefer? What kind of teacher do you prefer? A teacher who's crazy like me? Yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, see, you see how it's as useful it is? Ah, all righty. Very good. Yes, a teacher is crazy sometimes. All right. So basically, that's how we use a relative pronoun. Mm, now, guys, let me double check something really quickly. Uh, 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 uh. We're, today, we're going to develop just the listening skill, okay? Just the listening part. That's what I'm here for. Uh, 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 um. So, but before I go into that, um, guys, it is really important when you are trying to, in this case, to express people that you like, that's to stay in this topic, right? Um, there are some qualities besides the one that we saw. There are some qualities regarding people's personalities that is really important to know. There are some positive qualities, right? And there are some negative characteristics. So what I'm going to share right now with you basically is that because when we like to uh, express ourselves using who that relate relating uh, to 
somebody's friends, for example, who you pick for a friend or who you consider a friend, who you consider a girlfriend, a boyfriend, or whatever. Um, you need also to have vocabulary in order to express why you have chosen this person, what kind of personality that, uh, that person has. Mm -hmm. Or for example, um, when you're applying for a job, right? in a specific area, they're looking for some qualities that the person has, not only uh, abilities in related to the work environment, but also qualities as a person, qualities as an employee, depends of the job that that person is going to, to do, right? So that's why it's really, really important to, um, to learn the vocabulary. So I'm gonna sh uh, switch and share with you that. And what I want right now is just to let me know, guys, um, if this quality that I'm going to share, share with you regarding somebody personality, is it positive or is it negative? That's what I want. That's the only thing that I want right now. And then we're going to discuss something else. <laughs> so allow me just a couple of minutes. Let me pop it up here and I will share my screen with you. There you go. Okay, let me try to make it a little bit bigger. There you go. Okay, I'm going to share right now with you. Ta -da! Okay, there you go. We have nine uh, qualifications, if you can say that, or characteristics regarding people's personalities. So let me ask you something. Um. Easy going. You know what easy going is? Yes. What is yeah. that? Can somebody explain it to me? Positive. Yeah, it's positive. But what is an easy going person? A relaxed person. A what? Relaxed person. Relax. Mm. Relax. Yeah. What else? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sociable. Uh huh. Exactly. Somebody that is easy to. To be with, right? Get along with. Or get along yes. with, exactly. What about mm -hmm. egotistical? Is it positive or negative? Negative. Why? It's only thinks in someone or herself. Herself or himself, very good. I'm mm -hmm. flexible. Is it positive or negative? Negative. 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 Oh, all right, negative, sorry. Okay, mm -hmm. what about modest? Positive. Okay. Yes, what about positive. sociable? Positive. 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 What about stingy? Mm -hmm. Negative. Negative. Mm -hmm. Supportive. <laughs> Supportive. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Temperamental. Negative. Negative. And unreliable. Uh, yeah, sometimes, Negative. yes. <laughs> Negative. All righty. Okay, so guys, yeah. let me ask you for this uh, personality. Uh, adjectives or qualities. If there's something that you don't know, what does it mean? Or everything is clear Unreli like water. Yes, the last one. Um, unreliable. Like what does it. it mean? Unreliable, guys. Mm, the second one as well. I don't remember. Egotistical. Egotistical is the one that only thinks about him or herself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the stingy. And, what, is, what is a stingy? Stingy. I don't mm -hmm. know. It's a I person don't remember. doesn't like uh, to share. Spend. Spend. It's stingy. <laughs> Look at me, guys. It's like like Ebenezer Scrooge, stingy. Yes. Oh. Yes. Uh, yes. yes. I got it, teacher. I got it. Yeah. It's and positive. We, Change the name. Is it <laughs> no, it's not a positive. <laughs> it's a deposited generous. Uh -huh. What about unreliable? Someone you can trust no. for something. Someone that you can you cannot trust. You cannot uh, trust. You cannot reliable trust. someone that you can trust. Unreliable is the opposite one. Okay. All right, very mm -hmm. good. Okay, so let's go back and try to uh, practice the pronunciation, okay? Because that would be the um, the bridge for Monday's um, class. Repeat after me, easy going. Easy going. Egotistical. 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 Unflexible. 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 Modest. 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 Sociable. 
Só acho que é bom. Stingy. 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 Very good. Stingy. Supportive. 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 Temperamental. Temperamental. Unreliable. Unreliable. Very good. Guys, why I make you pronounce stingy more than one time? Because you know what? Yes. Yes. Send your soul center yes. is not enough. <laughs> I I have my ears so developed that you cannot imagine. So if it's started with S, exactly, I don't have an E before the S, right? Mm. And most of you stingy. pronounce it like as stingy. And it's not as stingy, it's ah, stingy. 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 Ah, it's like when you stingy. have a flat stingy. that you punch and it's like stingy. 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 Mm. So all the words that start with an S, you got to put. If you said stingy. as stingy, it's going to be wrong for me. Okay. Stingy. Very good. Okay. So mm. now you have some vocabulary that we can use because next coming Monday, guys, we're going to talk about relative classes with uh, with uh, it and with when. I'm going mm -hmm. I'm also I'm going to provide it to you like expressions when you're talking about because basically with it and when you use it when you're talking about things that you like and things that you don't like. OK, so we're going to uh, um, give you like a clue or sentences or expression that you can use when you're talking about things that you like when you're talking about things that you don't like and when you're talking about neutral that it doesn't matter for you it, you know okay you can either like it or, or not right so we're going to learn that about that we're going to talk about causes with it and classes with when and today we have developed our listening skills and our speaking skills which is really really cool may yeah. i ask you do you have any questions any doubts Speak now or silence oh, forever. Yes. Oh. I have a lot of doubts, but it's okay. You have a lot of doubts, no way. I just have a question. Bring it on. Go ahead, Byron. Uh, if, we, if you can share the PowerPoint no. that you show us on the WhatsApp group, okay, bye. No, just kidding. I know. Uh, which one you said, Byron? Oh, which, which, if uh, you which... can share. Uh -huh. In the WhatsApp group, the PowerPoint that you show us, which one? For the example, the last one, I think, or for or some examples of the class that we have with you every day, or something like that. The material. Ah, well, you have to watch the video again. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm gonna share with you some information that I consider that it might help you. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, it could be a possibility that I send it today, but no, if not, no later than Saturday, you will receive it, okay? Yeah, that's great. Don't worry. That's okay. <laughs> I, Is there I, any other question that you might have, guys? No? Clear like what? I like, I like your way to say no, okay? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, it was a pleasure okay, to have you once again. I wish you a great week, a great and amazing weekend, and let's see you on Monday, right? Yeah. See you Monday. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.